The biggest uh, takeaway from my time was the touch to academism and the second uh, biggest takeaway was the concept of responsible journalism. It feels like being home, back home. <laughs> I'm looking forward to see other fellows, especially from the Middle East, which we had a group and we always used to chat to each other. And I haven't had time to walk around and remind myself all the places that I went when I was here, but I'm looking forward to doing that on Sunday. My supervisors uh, were the best within their field. So, of course, I got uh, uh, knowledge, uh, a speciality that I didn't have before. Okay, so do you want pop stories or journalistic <laughs> stories? <laughs> Um, I was a fellow a year and a half ago, um, and I think fellowship changed my life. Well, I look forward uh, uh, very much about this weekend uh, to see all the other fellows uh, after all these years and uh, to, 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 to hear Alan Ruspic and uh, his views. Journalism has to distinguish itself from the rest of the noise out there, that it has to become better has to work higher, to higher ethical standards. It has to be more meticulous about separating truth from falsehood, news from opinion. It has to be more transparent, to embrace scrutiny rather than decry it. It has to work to win back trust. At its most basic, it needs to decide what journalism is for. That sounds like almost too basic a question to be asking in the 21st century, but is it? I've taken that job because I believe in journalism.
it was a great culture of exchanging ideas. It wasn't just talking down and saying this is what it should be. Free flow of information, oh, this is what we do in our country and this is how it's done. This is what politicians do in our country. This is what, uh, you know, economic reporting is like in our country. Did you uh, learn to punt on the river? <laughs> Punting is like poetry, you know, you have to experience it. It was the very first place that I met her, but from your black velvet bag. No, her eyes, they shone like diamonds. Yeah. Uh, Are you in the middle of something? Yes, I, I, I should get my boarding pass printed and uh. I'm a, oh, a little bit stressed. I can't get into web and this is actually quite typical. Uh, British. In terms of size, you know, if you look at the size of, of Oxford, it's pretty much just a town in China. However, um, uh, the more time I spend here and the more friends I have here, I find Oxford is um, is it's just something you sort of um, engraved in, into your DNA. It's a place that you can never actually leave. Um, even if you don't live in Oxford, um, Oxford lives in you.